Folks, this is the uh, Urban Louisville Chess Club uh, podcast. This is Coach speaking, and we we have a returning guest, Chess Master D, Donovan. We have Donovan and his mother on. Very, very proud of the things Donovan has been doing lately, and I said to myself, we just have to bring this this young man on uh, to talk about what he's done in the past couple of months and talk about a, a couple other things, too, and, and also to make a little announcement. So, Donovan, what what are some of the things? And of course, you know, sis, you can you can jump in as well. But what are some of the things you've you've been doing the past couple of months? I've been doing chess tournaments. Okay, and I understand that you've been doing them outside of Jefferson County. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and they've been where at um, Bullock County. Okay. And how have you been doing in, in those tournaments there? Good. Okay. Well, that's what your mother is, is, is told me. Sis, have you, did you ever get a sense that the competition was a little tougher in some of these Bullock County tournaments? Uh, I want to say the last tournament that he competed in, which it was the, um, the state championships, grade level championships. Okay. That was some, uh, that was a different level of competition. It was a little bit stronger. Mm-hmm. And that tournament, he actually tied for second, but he placed fourth for the state. So his one of his goals he wanted to be was to be able to compete in it again, which that next one is going to be in March of this year. Okay. Because okay. his one of his goals is to be the 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 third grade state champion for this year. So. Okay. Great. Uh, but that competition was a little bit more competitive. Um, he played in another tournament there at Bullitt County to where it was based off of ratings. So he competed against some high school players. Mm. So, so that was, that was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. And he was able to hold his own against these high school players. Yeah. He beat one and lost to the other one, but it's not bad. He, he was working his way up. Great. And you say Donovan's in, in third grade. Yes. Okay. And he placed fourth in this one tournament for his his grade section. Yes. Yeah. So obviously that was after the after the tiebreakers that that, right, that brought right, him to yeah. fourth. Yeah. But still, the mere fact that you had to do tiebreakers clearly shows how tight um, that competition was. And so I I was saying to myself I was very impressed in in hearing that. Uh, from you about about Donovan, Donovan, do, do you think your your confidence level is is getting a little better, or you know how would you assess your confidence level? Um, I think kind of better. Okay, you, so you said you you're feeling pretty confident now, more confident than usual. Yes. Great, great. And your mother had mentioned that one of your goals was to was to what. Um, in your grade section, to, to place pretty high, how high do you want to place? First. <laughs> you want number one. Okay, brother. <laughs> I hear that. You want to be number one. That's great. So what are some of the things you're doing to, uh, you know, to get yourself to that level? Chess lessons. Chess lessons, great. And you do receive private chess lessons from uh, Coach E. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and you also do... I'm assuming you do some puzzles. Do you do most of your puzzles from a book, a, a worksheet, or do you go online? Online. Go online? Okay, great. And I, and I do want to mention that um, I think your first exposure, exposure to chess was at a summer chess camp. Um, I think it was a summer chess camp that was sponsored by Liberated Minds Academy. Is that right? Yes. Oh, okay, great. So we just wanted to get that in. And also definitely want to get in. Uh, coach E is, is Donovan's private coach. He's one of the best chess coaches here, not just here in the city of Louisville, but really in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And if anyone is interested in having their son or daughter receive some private chess lessons from an outstanding coach, you know, you can email me at UrbanLouisvilleChess at Yahoo.com, UrbanLouisvilleChess at Yahoo.com. So, you know, Donovan, uh, every year I try to get up there to Cincinnati to to take a team to to do the regional tournament, the Queen City Classic. Even at this late date, we're not sure if we're going to be able to to go there. They haven't sent out any notices or anything. 
I hope that you would be able to come with us because I do know you'd be a tremendous asset to our team if you were able to, to come up with us. Um, but you say there is a, a major tournament in Bullock County that's scheduled for March that you're going to be attending. Is that right? Yes. Great, great. And we have some other tournaments coming up, and I'm sharing this with Donovan and our listeners. We have the May Street Kid Chess Classic that's coming up January 22nd. Um, that's a cash prize tournament. And we're also having the LMPD Chess Classic that's coming up February 26th. And if you go to our Facebook page, Urban Louisville Chess, you can get the details, or you can go to our, our webpage, uh, www.kychessambassadors.com. Now, Donovan, and this is really a question a question to you and your mother. Have you ever heard of a, a person named Desmond Tutu? No. No? Okay. He won- I have. You have? Okay. Um, well, as you know, sis, he won the Nobel Peace Prize in, in 1984 and was a very uh, vocal person of uh, nonviolent uh, resistance um, in uh, r- racist minority rule South Africa. He died recently. Um, and my uh, sister, she's had a close relationship with his m- middle daughter. She's had this close relationship with her for years and years. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, it's, it's a long time. And so, obviously, you know, when uh, Naomi's uh, father died, she contacted my sister and was giving my sister details about things. And one thing that came up was that we decided to raise some money uh, the Desmond Tutu Scholarship Award, and we wanted to apply that money towards helping a, a couple of uh, local chess athletes to attend the 2022 National Elementary K-6 Championship, and that's going to be up in Columbus, Ohio, May 13 to 15. Now, uh, Donovan, of course, your mother uh, should be part of this answer as well, but uh, Donovan, are you interested in going to that yes. elementary? You are? Okay, brother, you 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 just the you just the go getter. <laughs> you you on it, man. You like Michael Jackson? I mean, Michael Jordan. I, I, I respect that in you. Well, Donovan, um, I think your mother has said that you know if it's possible for them to for her to you know to make all the necessary arrangements that she will try to get you up there. Is that is that correct, sis? Yes. Okay, and that's going to be up there in Columbus, Ohio. And, uh, you know, uh, Donovan, like I said in the beginning, we're really proud of your, I mean, we're just really proud of you, man. you got a good attitude, sportsmanship, you're a dedicated chess athlete, and it would just, you know, it would be a blessing for us if you could get there to that championship and represent uh, the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Not just represent yourself and your family, but the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And I just wanted to officially announce to you per the approval of Naomi Tutu, um, that we are to give you uh, a scholarship to help you cover the expenses of going to Columbus, Ohio. Okay, buddy? Yes. All right, that's great. So, and again, this is uh, per her approval and her knowledge, and she said, um, you know, this is great. It's wonderful. She wishes all the best for you. And so... Once your mother sort of puts together what the expenses are, you know, we'll let her know what, what we can contribute um, to helping you get there. And I appreciate you uh, I appreciate you doing this. I appreciate you accepting the, re- the award, and I appreciate you going up there and representing uh, the Commonwealth of Kentucky back here. Do you feel a little nervous about going up there and competing? Not really. Oh, that's, my, that's my man, boy. I love him to death. <laughs> well, that's great. I just want to uh, say that I, I really appreciate you taking the time out and spending the time that you spend with uh, Donovan to get him where he's at uh, with those private lessons that he had with you previously and then the extra effort you put in throughout the summer where he was able to go help you out, and uh, yes. especially with the JCPS chess um programs mm-hmm. that have been offered that he's been able to help you with as well yes. as what you did over the summer at the Jewish Community Center yes. and I think all of that has helped to continue to, to build his level of confidence and um, just that push from you I think that helped helped him as well so I don't know okay. if we if we actually told you thank you 
previously, but that is greatly appreciated. Oh, well, you know, that's, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm really humbled by that. And, you know, I'm glad you remind me of that. Boy, we had a good time up there at that uh, Jewish Community Center uh, summer camp. My boy Donovan, man, he was, he was good. And, and, and folks, I want to say this. He was a true assistant to me. He wasn't no figurehead. He was a true assistant to me in, in, in setting up the boards and taking the pieces down and passing out the uh, assignments and in, in walking uh, the kids through the assignments and teaching them some basics. He was a true assistant to me, and I want, I want to make that real clear to folks. He was a true assistant. I appreciate you saying that, though, sis. I really do. So, folks, we're going to uh, conclude here. This is the Urban Louisville Chess, Chess Club uh, podcast. Please um, like, uh, share, get it out there. We need more listeners signed up. Donovan on one, thank you. And, and brother, um, you know, encourage your mother to, to get that budget to us because we're, we're anxious to get this money to you, man, and, and to get you up there to Columbus in May, okay? Okay. All right. Sis, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time out to do this, too. No problem. All and right. then I'll I'll get that budget to you today because I, I think they just now released the entry the entry fee and um, mm-hmm. the hotel accommodations and, and whatnot. So yeah. I'll be able to get that budget to you today. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. 